Okay, so I'm pulling the binding down just past this row of stitching where it is attached. I'm putting the needle in just under where it came out. Travel a little bit, maybe a quarter of an inch at a little bit of an angle because I'm going to come out in the binding. I've traveled between the layers and I come out here and I kind of bend it back a little bit with my thumb so I can get it out and then I pull. And then again, I push it down past the stitching line. I go in just under where it came, you know, you can see where it's coming out. And then I'm just guessing at how far to come up. You see the angle? And then I pull it. And then after a few stitches, I'll just kind of pull a little bit so it looks nice like that. Okay, I'm going to do a couple more and then I'll get to the corner. And this, for whatever it's worth, is called the ladder stitch. Because when you go down, it's straight like the rung of a ladder. And when you get here, see on this side, there's a little fold going this direction. So we fold it here. So on this side, it's opposite. Do that again. Okay. So I'm getting to the corner, mm -hmm. go straight up, and then I fold over to get the miter corner. Mm -hmm. And here the fold is on this side, and here the fold is on the other side. So they're, okay. op they're opposite each other. Okay. Distributes the bulk. It's not a crime if you do it the other way. And then I take my stitch, and I come up somewhere in the binding. And then maybe I take a little stitch here to hold these. And maybe that wasn't very good, so I take another one. And now I'm too far up, see? I'm not on the I'm not on the edge. So if you care about such things, you can go in and come out at the edge or Hang on, I think I have a loop there. I do. Okay, let me pull that. It's just so fun, isn't it fun? Okay, so go in, come out, and then you're on your way down the next side. Okay, looks great. I didn't even fall asleep. Oh, good. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.